Storm Ranger is in Salisbury right now giving us this exclusive mobile Doppler radar as the storm moved out. This provided us with critical weather updates, especially at the height of the storm. And that is when the radar that the National Weather Service uses was actually down. That's right. Matt Noyes explains why Storm Ranger kept working even as we moved it to different locations to get the most precise view of conditions. Chances are good you've heard plenty about our Storm Ranger mobile Doppler radar truck from our first alert weather team. What makes the truck so special and how does it improve all of our lives? Never have the answers been so apparent than during this intense rain and windstorm over the last two days. Radar is a key tool for meteorologists identifying where showers and storms are developing, in what direction they're moving, and if any damaging wind is inside. This storm hit at a bad time, though. The Boston area government radar is down for four days of maintenance, leaving public and private meteorologists across the Boston area struggling to gain accuracy and pinpoint showers, rain, and thunderstorms, except your first alert weather team. We deployed our Storm Ranger mobile radar to Cape Cod ahead of the first rain, allowing our meteorologists to track downpours and damaging wind throughout our powerful nor'easter, and moved it over the next 24 hours to two other locations until the storm was gone. With Storm Ranger mobile Doppler radar able to see 70 to 100 miles from wherever we park it, what this means for you is our first alert weather team are literally the only meteorologists anywhere during this stretch who can show residents of eastern and central Massachusetts exactly where it's raining, how hard it's raining, and when it will stop in your town. Storm Ranger, always so helpful.